Immediately upon our arrival to Zion, we were attacked by the White Legs, a local tribe with its sights set on joining up with Caesar's Legion. Luckily, we made it out of the fray, where a member of the Dead Horses, a more friendly tribe in the area, agreed to guide us to Joshua Graham, the very same man the Happy Trails caravan had warned us not to speak of. We learned some of his story, a new Canaanite and former Malpace legate to Caesar himself, a mysterious burned man. He enlisted our help in gathering some supplies to assist the local tribes, the Dead Horses and Sorrows, attempt to hold their ground against the encroaching White Legs in exchange for helping us back out of Zion. Now that we've gathered the items, we need to take them to Daniel, a fellow new Canaanite. Um, Ranger Substation Osprey. Ooh, can I get in here? Locked hard. Definitely don't have enough of that. Okay, but we leveled up again. So, let's see. Um, we'll do speech to 65. Sneak up to 40. I feel like, I feel like we've neglected that. And I feel like it might be handy. I don't know. Um, medicine. Let's do repair. And science. Up to 55 for both of those. Oh, and we get a uh, another thing. A perk. Um, I didn't realize that you could also do them like twice. Um, as well. There's so many of them. Oh my gosh. I mean, obviously like, you know, not everybody's going to want to use all of them. Some of them are for like people who are doing like an evil playthrough and it would only be beneficial to you in that sense. Um, and also, like, depending on the skills that we have already, what is the what makes the most sense? Um, I think I'm going to do tag, which allows you to select a fourth skill to tag as a skill, and which instantly raises it by 15 points. And I'm going to put that into... Uh, do I want repair? No, I do. I want lockpicking. Yeah. I still don't think that this is... Yeah, 75 um, let's go up here and check out what is in this building, though. If there's anything useful here. Nothing useful. God Feels damn it. To be doing Chalk some man, get out of my way. Not just okay. So, uh, we gotta go back down here. Can I just get down there, or... Definitely I'm gonna die. Um, shoot. Let's go to... Uh, well, I kind of want to, like, undo that now, but, um, let's see. I gotta get back, I gotta get back down to, like, ground level here. Uh, so let's go to the campground. And then from here, we will quickly discover this little area. Kind of get that off of our map here. Um, what am I doing? There we go. I just like to, you know unlock the locations. They are very helpful. Oh, it's over this way. There's a cre creature in there. Oh no, that's my guy. Scared me. Okay. Something over here. That's a scout for the dead horses. Um, or the, yeah, is that what they're called? My, where am I? Gotta be right here. Oh, and this little canyon here. It's a cave. Ooh, I wonder what's in there. Do I want to go check it out? Kind of. Is that my guy there? Yeah. Okay. What's in here? Ooh, I just like, I don't want to get lost. Lost. Ooh, I can't get in there. Damn. Okay. Oh. Well, shit. Okay. So maybe not. Maybe not the best idea for right now. Um, let's go ahead and fix that. Damn it. Okay. Um, let's see. Let's check out the local map just to kind of see what's going on in here. Um, I'm sure there's useful things in here, but I don't want to get lost, so I'm just gonna go. I'm just gonna head back out. Um, let's focus on what, what it is we're actually doing here. World map, we want to go to the Caterpillar Mound, I guess. Down over this way. Here, a bug. 
You're a big bug, and I don't like it. Anything that's flying and is deadly is not is not for me, man. Yeah, that thing. Hate those things. Don't want anything to do with those. Swimming. I'm just swimming along here. Um, ignore the tripping out of the camera. I'm not really sure what's going on there. Um, okay. So I think this is our little caterpillar mound thingy that it was a little place to discover. Right. We discover it. I want to discover it. There we go. And then into here we go. To meet with Daniel. Um, is my guy back? The oh, okay. Up Still ahead. back there. That's the Sorrows territory. They're peaceful enough, but you don't want to make them mad. Okay, well, I'm not planning on it, so that's good. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I really needed to drink that, but that's okay. I wanted to look in there. Oh, actually, I do want those. Um, because I do need to get that fruit for that other quest at some point, so. Um, I wonder where that goes, but right now we're going this way. You are the one Joshua Graham sent to us. Blessings of the Father in the cave on you. Daniel is waiting for you. Okay. Um, who are you? Waking Cloud is my name. I am midwife to the Sorrows. It sounds ill omen, no? Midwife to Sorrows? Uh, midwife, I haven't seen any children around. The children and the old have already been evacuated from the camp. They are safe enough. Unless the white legs come for us in force. Um, what do you do when you're not delivering babies? I tend to other hurts and sicknesses that afflict our tribe. I also scout the valley for the herbs I use in my medicines. Okay. What would you speak of? I like your bear glove. Where can I get one? A sorrow's yaogwai fist is a sacred symbol. It shows that we belong to the tribe and have willingly undertaken a dangerous quest to aid the tribe. Each sorrow makes his own, and only after hunting and slaying a Yao Guai that threatened our people. Our shaman, White Bird, oversees the rites. Perhaps if you spoke to him, he would allow you to undertake such a quest. Okay. Um, give us some info on this Daniel. Who is he? Daniel is a wise man and a great friend to the sorrows. He taught me to speak the language of New Canaan, the English from the holy books. Holy books? Yes. The language of the New Canaanites is the holy tongue, for it is the language their sacred books are written in. The father in the caves brought it to them after the judgment, but the ancestors of the sorrows sinned against him. They were denied the true tongue. Um, have you known Daniel Long? Six years. He attended the birth of my third child. It was a hard birth. The river nearly carried my water to the father and my child's with it. Daniel knew the ways of New Canaan's medicine. He stepped in and saved both of our lives. After the birth, I asked Daniel if he would teach me what he knew of childbirth. He agreed, and so here I am. Okay, uh, let's talk about something else. What would you speak of? Um, tell me more about your tribe. We have dwelt in the Narrows since the end that came in fire. When the Father in the Caves punished the world and made us forget the Holy Tongue. We have had good relations with the other tribes in the valley. At least before Salt Upon Wounds brought his white legs here. We have Daniel to thank for our continued existence. His advice and help has kept the white legs from overrunning us so far. I do not know how long even he can protect us, though. Uh, so what do you know about Salt Upon Wounds? He is war chief of the White Legs, and the worst butcher of them all. The tribes he has crushed are many. The warriors he has slain, countless. And who or what is the father in the cave? Have you not heard of the god of the new Canaanites? He is our protector and our judge. He helped our ancestors find their place here in Zion. 
He gave us many gifts, but we are not to seek him out. His caves are forbidden to us. Those who seek them out are taken from us. That doesn't exactly sound like what I've heard about the new Canaanites. Perhaps you do not fully understand the new Canaanites. I have seen the father's images. His holy bride and holy son were given unto the world to save it. They dwelt in the caverns of the mountains, caverns which can still be seen today. The people sinned against him and were punished with the end that came in fire and the loss of the holy tongue. Only the new Canaanites were spared. Mm. Okay. I'm sure Daniel could tell you more. His knowledge of the father is greater than my own. And uh, I guess that's all I wanted to know for now. Then I will look forward to our next speaking. Okay, so let's go find Daniel, finally. Hmm. Ooh, is this him? Here we are. The dead horse has told me details about the attack on your caravan. A stranger's sympathy might not count for much, but for what it's worth, I'm sorry. The sorrows will mourn your friends, too. They mourn everyone. Even the white legs. They have sensitive souls. Innocent, if there is such a thing. In spite of what's happened, I hope that Joshua and I can help you out of here. But to be frank, we need your help too. Okay. Um, what do you do here? I used to help the Sorrows with various medical problems and general issues they were having, but my bishop sent me here as a missionary. We new Canaanites believe that there is a path to salvation for everyone, and it's important that we set people on that path if they are willing. So you said you used to help with the sorrows with problems. What do you do now? Okay, well, uh, salvation from what? The wasteland? A spiritual wasteland, yes. We believe that before this life, our souls existed elsewhere. And after we die, our souls will leave this world. During our time here, we have the burden of choice. The choices we make determine where we go in the spirit world and how we will face judgment. New Canaanites believe, as many once did, that God was made flesh here on earth as a man named Jesus Christ. He sacrificed his life to save us. Every sin, every terrible thing that you, me, or any one of us have done for all time was washed away by his blood. We just have to accept his love. That's why we visit the tribes. To spread the good news. For all we know, we new Canaanites may be all that remains of Christ's followers. Um. I think it's interesting that we seem to think that this is far-fetched. I mean, I know it's been a long time, obviously 200-something years, but... I wouldn't have thought that Christianity would have necessarily disappeared in the aftermath. I mean, like, there's already still military backup, like an NCR, like the NCR, obviously following old military rules, and the shit, you know, the Caesar following, like, Roman stuff. I would think that wouldn't seem so odd that something like Christianity still exists. Um... Uh, so interesting. I'm just gonna go with interesting. <laughs> That's actually a better response than I usually get from Wastelanders. No offense. Tell you what. There's a lot going on right now, but why don't you take this? Read it. Maybe you'll hate it. Maybe you'll be bored. But if you have questions, assuming we get through all this, let me know. It used to be my job to answer those questions. Maybe it will be again. Interesting. Cool. Um, so why are you so eager to evacuate Zion? You don't seem to be a pacifist. There's an old saying that goes, If you want peace, get ready for war. You've got me figured half right. I'll shoot dead any white leg that tries to creep into this camp. But it's only to protect the sorrows. The Lord helps those who help themselves. But the sorrows don't know how. Joshua and I, since I got them into this mess, I need to get them out. Um, you're right to leave, but I don't think you should kill any of the white legs. Um, it's an awful lot of responsibility to take on. And if you're willing to defend the sorrows, why not pursue the white legs? 
I mean, yeah. There is an important difference between killing in defense and waging war. Even a Gentile like you should know that. Joshua's a new Canaanite, and he's obviously willing to attack the White Legs. Joshua is a living Bible of all mankind's miseries of war. The debt he has levied through his actions, he repays every day. He is a monument both to God's unending forgiveness and to humanity's unfathomable capacity for cruelty. It's written on every inch of his body. When you look at him, do you only see a man of God? Beneath those bandages, he is burned flesh. As he burns, so does he consume everyone around him. Joshua wants to fight because the white legs have stoked the naked flame inside of him. You, you see the light, but do not yet feel the heat. I can pray that you never will, but it isn't up to me, and it isn't up to God. It's up to Joshua. Hmm. Okay, what, uh, oh gosh, there's so many things here still. Um, what do you know of the white legs? They're hateful savages who live only to plunder and destroy. Their leader is a devil called Salt Upon Wounds. War is all he knows. Everything he has, everything that tribe has, was taken by force, raiding, and scavenging. It's said there's no man deadlier at close range. That that power fist of his has smashed a hundred skulls. Maybe that's true, but so what? It's a low form of leadership. A tribe that knows only war has no future. And so he'll lead them to Caesar. Okay. And what do you know about the father in the caves? Father in the... Oh, right. He's some spirit the Sorrows used to believe in. Watched over them from the caves in the valley. They marked some of the caves around here because they think they'll be punished for going inside. I think as more of them learn the teachings of the new Canaanites, they'll lose their old superstitions. I always think it's funny when people talk about superstitions. Like when religious people like this guy talk about superstitions of other people as if they're not all superstitions. But, I mean, that's getting a little bit heavy-handed for a uh, playthrough. But, no, it's really interesting the way that, you know, I don't know, beliefs and faith interact and, and how some people obviously think that, like, theirs is the right one and everybody else's is misguided somehow. But anyway, um, I'm not really trying to get into that kind of a debate. But anyway, so you might want to have a chat with them. They think your lord and the father are the same. Oh? Oh. <sighs> of course. How stupid of me. They probably also think Mary is the mother and Jesus is the child. No wonder they picked up on things so easily. I guess it just goes to show how difficult it is to communicate sometimes. Um. Okay, and I think that's, I guess that looks like that's all that I can get out of him outright the moment. So Joshua told me you needed a few things. I think I've got it all. Well, I'll be. I was starting to lose hope we'd be able to get any of this, much less all of it. Tribals are smart, but, well, they're ignorant. Letting go of a taboo is difficult for them. So I knew it would have to be one of us. Turns out all it took was a Gentile, or, uh, no offense. These supplies are a godsend. But if we're going to evacuate Zion without drawing more white leg attention, I need you to go back into the valley. Specifically, I need you to scout out some locations for white legs and try to recover a map of Grand Staircase, a wilderness area to the east. There's also the matter of the roads. We're going to be heading out of the east side of the park, but I'm not sure the way is clear. Okay. Um, I'll, anything to help, I guess. I'll do what I can. I appreciate the enthusiasm. There aren't a lot of people in the wasteland with kindness to spare for anyone who isn't kin. Since you've been poking around the valley, you might see more activity from the White Legs. One of the Sorrow's hunters, Waking Cloud, has volunteered to help guide you through the valley. She has a special talent for staying out of sight. After this, it's just a matter of getting everyone out of here safe and sound. And hopefully, you can head back to the Mojave without any more trouble. Okay. Uh, so explosives are always handy. Daniel has given you some pre-war mining explosives as a special de and a special detonator for them. They aren't useful as weapons, but could be used to collapse certain caves if that proves necessary in your exploration. Okay. Well, oh. here we part ways. I'm needed back at the Dead Horses camp. Maybe I'll see you there sometime. 
Um. Are you sure you've been a useful companion so far? Sorry. Joshua was pretty clear. Get you to Daniel, then come on home. You can take it up with him if you'd like. Um, okay, fine. I will. Good going, Akis. Okay, so Fallish Talk has returned to Dead Horse's camp. And I've lost his perk. That's fine. Okie dokie. Oh. Daniel said that I was to travel with you until you have completed your scouting. Is this pleasing to you? Um, sure. Yeah. Certainly. We should make haste then. And, okay, so wa Waking Cloud has given you the Quiet as the Waters perk. Um, while she's in your party, it is much easier to sneak by the White Legs. Nice. Okay. And I wonder if we can talk to her like we were able to talk to the other guy. Katubiu. Do you have any family? I do. A fine husband and three children. I miss them each day, but I take comfort in knowing they are safe. Safe? Where are they? When we learned that Salt Upon Moons had defiled Zion with his presence, Daniel ordered the children, the old, and the sick evacuated from the camp. My husband volunteered to lead the hunters that went with them for protection. I try not to worry about them. But we have had no news for so long, and Daniel seems sad when I ask him about it. Sad and a little frightened. Mm. Um, I could talk to him. Maybe he'll open up more to me. Perhaps he will. I sometimes feel he thinks he must protect me. If he has news, I would know of it. Okay. Um, and that looks like just all the other simple options. Uh, okay. Oh, but we got a new quest. Then I will cool. look forward to our next speaking. Um, well, since we're still here with Daniel, why don't we just talk to him about this really quick? I'm glad to see you're still with us. How can I help you? Tell me about Waking Cloud's family. What, um, what do you want to know exactly? I'm sure she could tell you much better than I. She said one of her births was difficult and you helped her through it. Oh, well, that's true. Waking Cloud is a talented midwife. She certainly brought more children into the world than I have. But there are some problems she's never dealt with. One of them came up when she was having her third child, and I really didn't do much. I'm surprised she mentioned it. Um, there was a second option. I wonder if we say this again. What, um, what? Do you, did you help the rest of her family leave Zion? <sighs> I did. What's the matter? Did something happen? Her three children are safe. They made it north weeks ago and met up with new Canaanites heading east. Her husband didn't make it. He died mm. protecting their children from a white leg attack. Do not tell Waking Cloud. She is one of the only sorrows who can communicate easily with us, and her tribe needs her to be strong right now. It's her husband. Don't you think she has a right to know? To everything, there is a season. Who are you or I to put this heavy burden on her now? And who are we to keep it from her, though? You're the new Canaanite who's supposed to help lead these people, not hide things from them. I know. You're right. I shouldn't have hidden it from her in the first place. I just... We can't fail here again. Zion can't become the next new Canaan. The Sorrows don't deserve that. They don't deserve any of this. Sometimes I look at them and wonder if they would have been better off if those old trails had stayed forgotten. If we had never found any of them. <sighs> Tell Waking Cloud if you think that's best. I won't stop you. Okay, let's talk more later. Ooh. Oh, so I can Until tell then. her. Or I cannot tell her. I'm gonna tell her. Katubiu. Um, about your husband. I'm afraid he was killed by White Legs during the evacuation. What? No. You must be mistaken. Daniel would have told me. I'm afraid so. Daniel kept it from you because he thought the grief would distract you. How? How dare he? What gives him the right? I thought Daniel was my friend, but he cares nothing for the sorrows. I mean, I think he cares. He just... Eh, that's a tough one. I'm not gonna lie. Um, he was only doing what he thought was best for the tribe. It wasn't an easy choice for him. Perhaps. 
I will have to have a very long talk with Daniel when all of this is over. Thank you for telling me this truth. Cool. Interesting. Okay, so now let's check out our quests. Ooh. Oh, the, yeah, the, the White Bird's Cave. I think that was to do with the. Um, I forget. Oh, the Rite of Passage. Yeah, speak to White Bird and it. White Bird the Shaman. Um, I don't know if I want to do that now or kind of do the main stuff first and then come back to that. We'll see. Um, advanced scout. So, oh, find the Grand Staircase. So find the map of the Grand Staircase region, but we also want to do all these things. So the advanced scouts wipe out the White Legs encampment at Bighorn Bluff, or we can steal the White Legs war totems from the encampments. Either way, we've got to do something about the White Legs camp. Um, same thing here. So we kill the White Legs by that are planting the traps, or we disarm the traps after they place them. Either way, deal with the traps and the Yagwai. So either kill them inside the cave or collapse the cave in on them. Alrighty. So let's try, let's, okay, let's just do these in like reverse order, why not? We'll just start with the advanced scouts. Why about the encampment at Big Farm Bluff? Uh, let's show us where that is at. Okay, quite a ways away. Um, so we gotta make our way back over through here. Morning Glory Cave, General Store, blah, blah, blah. Over to here. Okay. But again, I couldn't fast travel out. I'm not really sure why, but hopefully once we get back kind of out of this little canyon, um, area, we can, we can fast travel and, and get our, get the show on the road a little bit with taking care of these white legs. So there's three total quests that we have to take care of. Um, and then, then, well, I guess we'll see what happens from there. I have no idea. Um, looks like somebody's coming towards us. Yes. By the rivers of Babylon, there we sat down. Yea, we wept when we remembered Zion. Remember, O Lord, the children of Edom in the day of Jerusalem, who said, Raise it, raise it even to the foundation. O daughter of Babylon, who ought to be destroyed. Happy shall he be, that rewardeth thee as thou hast served us. Happy shall he be, that taketh and dasheth thy little ones against the stones. Do you know what it means? Um, personally, I sure as hell don't, but it seems like you don't want to leave Zion. You'd rather kill every last one of the white legs. Given those two choices, yes. In the best of all possible worlds, they would just leave us in peace. But they won't. I don't enjoy killing, but when done righteously, it's just a chore, like any other. Practiced hands make for short work, and the good Lord knows there's much to be done here. Um, okay. This conversation just got pretty dark. What was that about happy dashing the little ones? Happy are those who do the work of the Lord. Zion belongs to God and the people of God. It is a natural temple and monument to his glory. When our Lord entered the temple and found it polluted by money changers and beasts, did he ask them to leave? Did he cry? Did he simply walk away? No. He drove them out. It is one thing to forgive a slap across my cheek. But an insult to the Lord requires... No. It demands correction. Hmm. Um. I don't know if you've figured this out yet, but I don't believe what you believe. Then as a Gentile, you should find this to be even more beneficial. If the sorrows stay in Zion, you will always have a link to New Canaan. If the sorrows leave Zion, so too do the New Canaanites. What's more... You'll have more white legs coming farther south. You may not be concerned over matters of faith, but this is a case where faith and practicality coincide. No one wants the white legs here. We just need to convince Daniel that it's our responsibility to ensure that doesn't happen. Hmm. Okay, um, interesting. Is there more we can talk to him about, though? Welcome back. What can I do for you? Ooh, yes, there is. So... Basically, Daniel wants to evacuate 
Joshua here would like to wipe out the White Legs and keep this area for the tribals and the new Canaanites, which are really just him and Daniel, it sounds like. Um, or maybe there's like kids and, and some other people that maybe already left with some of like the sick and elderly from the from the tribes. Because um, Daniel did say something about some evacuation has already taken place. Anyway, I'm not I'm not sure about that. But anyway, it, it, long and short of it is, he wants us to take everybody out. Daniel wants to evacuate, and it sounds like those are kind of the choices that we might have to make in the future about what goes on here. Um, but we do have some other things that we can ask him, and I'm curious. So, what do you know of salt upon wounds? He's a butcher. Believe me, I know the godless fire that burns in his heart. I've been burned by it myself. He's not the kind to let his subordinates do all the killing. No, he likes to have a hand in it, with that spear of his. He's fashioned himself an abomination before the eyes of the Lord. I'm happy to serve as an instrument of divine justice. Okay, and some personal questions. Let's try this out. It's not something I enjoy, but I pray to God that someone may learn from my mistakes. What would you like to know? Um, were you always, well, let's try this one first because it looks like we're going to fail this so we can knock this one out of the way. What are those bandaged for? I'm pretty sure I know what they are, though, but we'll ask. For injuries. I suffered long ago. I'm pretty sure, obviously, that has to do with the burns, but, um, let's try that again. See what it's else we got. something. Were you always with the new Canaanites? I was born in Ogden what people came to call New Canaan. Things were more peaceful when I was growing up. When I was a young man, I went out into the world to do missionary work, as all New Canaanites do. I traveled along the Long 15 and followed 89 South into Arizona. Along the way, I met two men from a group called the Followers of the Apocalypse. Edward Sallow and Bill Calhoun, they came to teach the tribes. Calhoun was a good man. Edward was the one who got us into trouble down the road. Okay, wait a second. So, Caesar, who's... I have heard that, so when you, like, join Caesar's Legion, they give you, like, a new Roman name or whatever. But, okay, so Caesar used to be called Edward, and he used to be a member of the Followers of the Apocalypse, which is kind of, <laughs> uh, what? No. So that's blowing my mind a little bit here. Cause so I, I was kind of under the impression and this doesn't mean that they're not, but I was under the impression that the followers of the apocalypse seemed like pretty decent people. So it's a little bit interesting that Caesar was actually a part of that group before he obviously clearly like broke away from them. And like he said, like he said just now, the other guy Bill was a good guy, and it was Edward who becomes Caesar that was, that was the problem. Well, we're presuming that that's that's who he became. No, not then. Back then he was just Edward, smart man, young, but we all were. We thought we could hike into the Grand Canyon and talk to Blackfoots. We did, and the Blackfoots were friendly enough at first. But eventually, I've thought back to that day so many times. I must have mistranslated. Something must have been mixed up, because the Blackfoots decided we weren't going to leave. The rest is history, assuming Edward hasn't changed it. Okay, so how did you end up being Caesar's Legate? This way lies the path to hell. Ed... Caesar needed me to translate. Translation became giving orders. Giving orders became leading in battle. Leading in battle became training, punishing, terrorizing. A series of small mistakes before a great fall. And I stayed in that darkness until after Hoover Dam. After I failed Caesar and he had me burned alive, thrown into the Grand Canyon. How did you survive? 
I survived because the fire inside burned brighter than the fire around me. I fell down into that dark chasm. The flame burned on and on. The next morning, I woke up and crawled out of the northern edge of the Grand Canyon, that cursed place. It took me three months to reach New Canaan. It was as though the prodigal son had returned. They welcomed me like I had never left. Never done anything to shame them. The fire that had kept me alive was love. Their love. God's love. I will never be able to repay the debt I owe to them. But I must try. Hmm. Very interesting. So there were some op other options, so we're going to go back in there. It's not... I think that was all that there was here, but I'll double check. I was... So, personal questions. It's... What do you know about the war between Caesar and the NCR? I try not to involve myself with matters of the Mojave anymore. All I know is from before the Battle of Hoover Dam. Um, okay. Um, what do you think of the NCR? Better than Caesar, but that's not a high standard. Too much love of money and ownership. Not enough love of God and giving. Any society that derives its power and authority from the will of man alone lives apart from God and will crumble in the end. Interesting. Okay, so let's try that again, too. See what else we can do. Um, there were a couple more options here, so we'll go into here again. I try not to involve... Um, do you know about Mr. House? I had heard of him. But when we were preparing to enter the Mojave, he didn't seem relevant to what was happening. From what I've learned since Hoover Dam, he handled the Mojave tribes in a fashion not entirely dissimilar from Caesar. It's too bad. It's not... I try not... I'm guessing you don't like Caesar very much? Love the sinner, hate the sin. With Caesar, it's often very difficult to see through all of that sin to the person inside. I can say that we were both lucky that NCR supply lines and land routes north of Mojave Outpost were destroyed before the Battle of Hoover Dam. Something bad happened near Death Valley at a place called the Divide. NCR couldn't cut across anymore, and it slowed down the reinforcements. Terrible storms ripped entire companies apart before they even got to Nevada soil. The aftermath of Hoover Dam could have been even worse for Caesar. Okay, so what's at the Divide? I don't know for certain, and I don't think NCR knows either. Whatever happened at the Divide was too much for them to handle. Our frumentarii told us what they saw. Only fools and madmen would march into a place like that. All roads wind down to the same spot. The grave. They said all that's left there is a gaping wound cut into the earth. Cursed and damned. No place for God-fearing folk. It's not... I... Divide blocked all of their northern land routes? Not all of them. But they couldn't take 127 north to get around the mountains. As if Death Valley weren't enough, they had the Divide and Big Empty to deal with. From what the Legion's explorers reported, the Big Empty may as well have been a wall to any living thing approaching it. Okay. And I think that was it, so... It's not... Okay, and so then we are going to head out of this canyon that we're in. Actually, you know what? I'm wondering if because we needed to hit that... That, um that conversation if that was what was blocking us from being able to fast travel out of here. So I'm going to try to see if we can fast travel now up to, uh, so we're going to go over here. So I think we'll start with the bridge here. Nice. That worked. Okay. So we'll cross over here and we'll head over to kind of deal with the situation with the, um, with the white legs and their war totems and stuff. 
happening. Ah, shoot. Somebody coming. Well, there we go. Um, because Tomahawk there is just hanging out. Um, we'll see, uh, anti-venom. Sure. Okay. But nothing else useful. Damn. Uh. I'll fight you if I must. Another one? Oh, no, this thing. Gosh, where, I was like, where is it? I hear it. Okay. You don't need the kill cam. Don't we need that? Good to okay. With another. So. I spend so long scouting on my own that I forget what human company is like. I just wanted her to finish her audio. Anyway, so we're gonna try to take care of the camp here that is coming up. Um, and I would like to try to do it stealthily, but we'll see. Uh, make sure that I'm still going the right direction. No, I'm not. Okay, so we're gonna go this way. <laughs> All right, so we are those oh. tents down there. That is a white leg war camp. Do you see the war totems they've erected around the tents? White leg warriors pray to them for strength and savagery before battle. This is no raiding band. Okay, any uh, so I had a little issue with a couple crashes, so I just I got sick of playing the same piece over and over again, uh, and kept saving repeatedly and then just got us to where we needed to be. Um, so any advice on how to deal with the situation? You might rush them and take them by surprise. We would be badly outnumbered then though, and these will be strong fighters. We might also use their superstition against them. White leg warriors believe that to lose their totems on the eve of battle is a terrible omen. Okay, so the totems are sacred somehow. Good to know. Yes. If their war totems were to disappear, they would likely lose the will to fight. Okay, well, let's get down there then. I will follow your command, but I advise caution if it is possible. Okay, so let's keep going. And, um, well, first of all, let's go check out this thingy up here. And kill this thing. Hopefully that didn't draw any attention to, to us. Um, but let's go check out this place up here first. See if there's anything useful in here. Um, some rounds can help for sure. Okay. Um, and then let's check out up top. See what's in there. I saw a med kit. Oh yeah, ten stim packs. We will definitely take that. Um, don't need any of those things. Um, okay, so that's where we're going. We pass like moonlight on still water. And I'm trying to think how we can maybe get over there. I also do have some stealth. I know boys. you are eager to leave Zion, but so why don't I see if we can skip until stay. the nighttime and try that? Think about it. A couple more hours ahead. Yes. Maybe it'll go like to sleep. We can try that. And I want to see if I can come around from a different angle so that they can't see me. Caution. I'm hidden, so that's good news. There is somebody out there. Okay, so, hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, let me tell her. Let me t tell you. I want you to... Wait here. As you wish, I will wait, but please do... And then, I would like to open up this and get our... Aid? I think it should be an aid. 
stealth boy. Let's move on. I don't like to linger in this place. And maybe I can just take it. And then follow me. I walk in your I'm still bonicking. Okay, so we got one of those things. Oh, shoot, are they coming now? Damn it, I tried so hard. Where are they coming from? I'm still, like, hidden. Over here. Oh, my weapon's out. Um. Hunting rifle is empty. Uh, let's see. Sure. Oh, those guys are trying to attack this guy. Oh, gosh. Awful. Mega attacks grow more frequent each day. I fear for our people and for our valley if something is not done. Okay, so there's more white legs over here. I don't think I'm hurting them at all. Me neither. The heck? I can't keep up this pace much longer. I will not leave my children orphaned. There we go. I'm using tons of ammo, but still. Uh, don't need any of that. These guys don't have any guns. Oh, some rounds there. Okay, cool. Um, but that did not get us... That did not get us to actually finishing this quest. Um, I did steal one of their totems, though. But where's the other ones? Let's see. Um, where are you? Why don't you stay here again? As you wish. And I will take another one of those thingies. Uh, what are they called again? Stealth boys. Steal this other totem. Oh, shoot. How do they see me? Well, I mean, I did just, like, steal something. So, I mean, not like, like, they can see me. Or they knew that I was there, maybe. But where's the other one? Gotta be another one somewhere. Um. footsteps damn it
My wounds are getting worse. Oh shit. Let's see. There we go. Okay. Let's take that. Um, sure. Okay, but where's the other, where's this other totem? I don't know what is going on down there with that thing. Oh, I did do it. Okay. So we have completed it. So, okay, cool. Where's our, where's our friend here? Oh, man. Well, that was way more difficult than I wanted it to be. But anyway, you can follow us again now. Um, yep, follow me. I walk in your footsteps. And then we are going to, let's go to the next one. And we are going to optionally kill the le white legs planting the traps or disarm the traps on the bridge. Hopefully, what I would like to do is disarm them, but we'll see. Um, and then we'll go to war war world map here, and, okay. Uh, no, I don't want to do that. So we'll just head off to the right and hopefully find this bridge. So I guess we'll go down here. Things dead. Um. Nice, okay. So that was taken care of now. Wait, where's... Uh, we, oh, what did we, what did we just discover? I don't even know. But we're going this way. It's a little bit dark, <laughs> but okay. Well, I was trying to wait until nighttime and I thought maybe they would go to sleep and I could kind of sneak into their camp without them noticing me, but that didn't really end up going so well for me. So, oh well. Oh, we need some of these yucca plants. Where are we going again? That away. Okay. Oh, you know what? Probably over here. Cool. So we've discovered Virgin River now. And actually, as soon as we pop back out of the water here, I'm going to save again. Because I have had so many problems with the uh, the crashes at the moment. So, not feeling very happy with the game at the moment with that in that regard. Um, I have heard that that is a massive problem with the games. Um, that there is all kinds of crashes frequently. But we'll see what we'll see. Hopefully we can get through the rest of it just fine. This is the only sure path from the narrows to Pine Creek. They will be cut to ribbons by these traps. Okay, so what should we do? Disarm the traps if you can, or find the white legs who place them and drive them off. Our advanced scouts should be able to deal with them if they don't have to fight off raiders at the same time. Okay, these traps must have come from somewhere. I'll bet the white legs who place them are still around. Let's just take care of it. Let's try As to do the say, traps. 
That's my goal here. That's what I would like to do. Oh. oh. Gosh, scared me. He just like came out of nowhere. Where's he going? I mean, I'm, it's fine that he was walking away from us, but, like, where are you going, pal? Because I'm going to kill you. Okay. So let's try do the traps, then. Ah, here's one. Okay. Um, It is possible to trigger this bear trap without injuring yourself, so let's disarm it. Nice. Um, oops, there's another one. Okay. Um, be very careful that I don't set them off. I see another one. Cool, 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 cool. We're getting there. Um, here's another. And let's see. Mm, there's another one. Okay. Um should be one somewhere up ahead. They're very hard to see. I don't see one, but I... Oh. Am I even hitting that thing? There we go. Okay, it should be... So Aha, I see it now. Okay, there's one more. Ah, so we did it. Completed the treacherous road. So that was all of the bear traps. Um, there's still, like, an enemy up there somewhere, but let's just go ahead and check out our next quest. No, I don't want to do the markers. Okay, so river monsters. Kill the Yagwai at Pine Creek or collapse the Yagwai Cave. And we are also going to try to do the easy way, and we are going to try to collapse the cave. Sorry, I keep trying to move the camera like that, but that's not how it works. Um, so I guess if we just follow this down and around... We'll get there. Okay, so we're going to try that again. And I've used different skills this time, slightly. I added more to my guns this time. Um, but I would still really are. prefer not to die. I would really prefer not to die. So, before we get any further, why don't I just take some aid items, first of all? To salt the earth so nothing could grow again. Yaogwai. Even our strongest hunters okay, so could not hope to kill so many. There must be a nest nearby. So what do you propose, then? Fighting so many at once is a dangerous prospect. Unless you are a truly mighty warrior. This many so close together suggests a nest nearby. If we find it and destroy it, we might have better luck. Okay, so how do we do that? Did Daniel not give you some of the new Canaanites' fire clay? That could easily collapse a cave and trap the beasts inside. Look around and see if you can find a cave nearby. It may prove easier than slaying the beasts. Okay, yeah, let's do that. I stand with you. So, am I still going the right direction? Yes, sort of. I want to go this way. Oh, wait, what? Yes, let's go over here. And I think it must be above us somewhere. Yeah, in here. Okay, so let's go into the cave. And I guess we'll just check it out. What am I doing now? Let's go check on our quest, because I think it's popped something. Okay, so plant mining explosives at key points within the cave. Um, look at our local map. Okay, so let's go over here. Check it 
all out. What do we got over here? Um, I can't go that way. Okay. So I see that there's like little marks on the ground in these caves. Um, like in this view here. So I guess we just have to find those. Um, all right. Oh, looks like here's one. Okie dokie. And so let's go this way. Um, is it this way? Yeah, here's one. Or somewhere this direction, anyway. There we go. And where's the last one? Back this way. Zion used to be a place of peace, you know. Daniel says that it is holy in the eyes of the Father. I hope someday you will see it as it was. Um, I was, so I wonder if, like, if we complete the whole quest and everything, can we come back here later? And and see. Like, does do things actually change? I know that at some points throughout the game already, like, certain decisions that you make or things that you do in a certain way do actually change what happens or, like, what people can say to you. So, I guess it's possible. Um, I think this is how I get out of here. Yeah, and then this way. Um, so I guess that would be interesting to see, like, based on what we ended up, end up doing here, how things might be different. Okay, so, let's do it, and boom. Cool. It was no easy feat, but we managed to take care of the white legs, to a degree. All that's left to do now is find the map of the Grand Staircase. To catch the next part of the story, be sure to like, subscribe, and turn on those notifications to follow along with the series as we determine the fate of the tribes of Zion. Until next time, I'm Brian Pickle. Thanks for watching.